come to work sick may be costing us even more. Across the Tasman, a company has done the research and found that presenteeism costs Australia nearly 20 billion more dollars a year than absenteeism. Channel 7's Laura Sparks reports. <laughs> feel less secure in their jobs and so you're going to see people who are sick turning up to work. I've turned up to work all my life whether I've been sick or not. I have to be so sick not to turn up to work. In today's expendable society it seems everyone is replaceable and many of us are now too scared to take a sick day. In fact the new productivity problem in the workplace is not those who take a sickie but those who come to work sick. They underperform and pass on their germs. When we go to work and because of an illness or an injury, we're just not able to perform at 100%. We've all been there, we've all gone to work when we've got some back pain or some neck pain. And as a result, we're just not able to give that 100%. New research suggests presenteeism, sick workers who show up at work, is costing this country $25.7 billion every year. Absenteeism, the good old-fashioned sickie, costs us $7 billion. Health insurance company Medibank Private commissioned independent research to look at this latest phenomenon. Craig Bosworth. What we're looking for businesses to do is, is look at this report, see the impact that presenteeism is having on uh, their workplace and invest in the health and wellbeing of their employees. An investment in the employees of their health and wellbeing will see a direct return to their bottom line. The study found presenteeism affected business productivity by 2.5%. That's like each employee losing six work days every year, even though they physically turned up to work. The research is also backed up by a US study that found similar losses. If you've got a flu or the cold, uh, the reality is that you are not thinking clearly, so you're not as productive as you would otherwise be. You're in a workplace, you're spreading germs to other workers, that's going to have flow-on effects to that particular workplace. Um, yep. Tomorrow the vaccine's being done, you're right for that. Yep. Union's New South Wales Secretary John Robertson believes the problem of presenteeism has exploded in the past 12 months. We've seen a growing trend where people are worried about their jobs. People feel less secure in their jobs. Uh, and so you're going to see people who are sick turning up to work. Retail to giant work. Jerry Harvey has a different view. He blames the sickie for the loss of productivity and takes the old school approach. I'm happy if people are sick, they should not come to work. I mean, really sick. But most people, unfortunately, ring up and say, I'm sick, and they're not sick, or they're a little bit sick. It's like your kid gets out of bed, I don't want to go to school today. He argues sick workers don't necessarily spread their health problems. Maybe it was the person in the office, maybe it was one of their family at home, maybe it was the person in that restaurant that night, I don't know. On the street today, there were conflicting views. I have to be like virtually on my deathbed to not coming to work, so yeah. There's no point whatsoever, it's actually a loss of money, you'll probably make more money staying at home. Sometimes you just feel under pressure to perform and be there regardless of whether you're sick or not, so you just kind of force yourself to go to work and yeah I agree it's very unproductive. I think the sickies thing has been <laughs> overplayed. Of course there are people out there who wrought sick leave. The reality is the overwhelming majority of working Australians these days if they're off sick they're generally really sick. Right. Tuck shop Tucker.